guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Elena and today we are starting we are starting the new series called budget or bougie so this budget or bougie series is 1000 billion percent inspired by BuzzFeed's worth it whenever I watch it I just get jealous I'm like I need to know what food spots are good around me here in the GTA uh, Toronto, Mississauga, Brampton, Scarborough, whatever it is. I want to know what is the best of the best out there. And of course, we cannot try everything because number one, I don't have the money for that. Number two, I don't have the time for that. However, in this series, I want to try a good variety of options. Things that are budget, meaning that a certain food item will be $10 or less. Things that are in the little mid price point don't know how to, what to call it yet but that will be ranging between 10 to 20 dollars and then bougie 20 plus you might think okay 20 plus is not that much like how is that bougie think about like one singular food item so for this video we are doing burgers i don't know about you but if i'm paying 20 dollars or more for a burger in my opinion that's pretty fucking bougie when you can go to mcdonald's and get one for like two dollars burger for this first episode i just think that burgers are loved by everyone it's just like a staple food you can literally eat it in so many different ways so many different toppings but for this video specifically it's just a classic cheeseburger um you will see some variation throughout but a classic cheeseburger three different price points uh three different place places and i didn't want to do like franchises Actually, i wanted to do like more like smaller or like local businesses because yes i could go to mcdonald's and get a really cheap burger but i hate fast food so i already know i'm gonna be biased so we're not in this whole series i'm not gonna do franchises like for example if i ever do like fried chicken i'm not gonna go to popeyes um yeah it's gonna be more independently owned places because i really want good quality and i know mcdonald's is not giving me that good quality so without further ado let's get into the first place oh, oh my god the greasiness so we're walking to the place it's actually crazy because i literally walked past this place like twice in the summer and i just didn't even remember but that's what it is we're gonna burger drops are you excited Let's go. Thank you. Chicken. I just want to take a little picture. Okay, guys, so here we have burger drops. Overall experience was really, really good. The guy in there was super nice. Just like, you know, those people that you can just tell they love their job, super friendly. I would literally go back just for that, just for the friendliness. And it smelled really good. So, what we got was their cheapest burger. And essentially, that is a smash burger. Smash burger is like super thin patties. Um, and inside it has cheese. Ooh, that's a crazy crust. Inside there's, uh, it's like a mayo based kind of sauce. And then there are pickles. I don't see the pickles, but I know that they're in there. And then we also got, I don't even know if we can show them. What the fuck? Those fries are massive. Uh, let's see. Those are actually massive. Oh yeah, no, we different. can't. Whoa we're not gonna yeah that's exactly how it looks so there's those big fries and then there's also curly fries we also got there's a donut but we'll have to show you that after because right now it's propping up the camera and then we got this banana like caramelized banana pudding thing so all together with tax and tip it was like 44 dollars but the burger itself is eight dollars to fifty cents plus tax which is like 10 bucks so obviously we're just judging based on the burger everything else is like a good it's just like the side you yeah. know yeah but yeah so yeah, let's do it. Oh, it has like those nice soft buns too. Yeah. It actually looks really good, guys. Like, look at the fucking crust. Cheers. Cheers. Thumbnail. That's good. Yeah, this is nice. Mm -hmm. That sauce. The meat itself is even good. The meat is good. Like it's just super crispy. Everything's just good about this. I'll be honest with you. The sauce too. I thought I would hate it because I don't like mayonnaise, but it's really not bad. I thought the patty would be like too thin, but it's actually not. You know, some smash burgers like you can't even really taste the the meat because it's so thin. It's the last bite. I've been savoring it because that's how good it actually is. Legit. It's really good. And like I was saying before, I'm really picky when it comes to like mayonnaise-based sauces. This sauce, no issue. Really picky when it comes to pickles. These pickles, no issue. And the only thing, the only complaint we have is about the fries. Like, they're okay. They're like, whatever. I'll show you guys. Sorry. Oh, no, my mental. 
Like, for example, the thank you. The little curly fries, they're okay. Like, they're a bit more soft, and then these fries, they're a bit too. They're big, and like, they're not crispy on the outside, and there's still too much inside, so it's kind of soft. You know? Yeah, yeah, because like it's way too thick. If they cut it down and made it like half that size, I think they would be a lot better. But overall, really good. We're gonna try the desserts now, which I'm really fucking excited for. Stay tuned. Can you just like rotate a bit? Like, look. Look at this white chocolate brown butter um, donut. Yeah, this is a donut. And there's like some, I don't know what that is on top. I'm assuming it's like either like a cinnamon kind of mix or something or like a brown sugar mix. Next. This is the banana pudding. It has vanilla, uh, caramelized... Spiced rum. Spiced rum. Caramelized cereal crumble. Yeah, vanilla cereal crumble. Then the, the banana itself is caramelized too. And I guess like they make a little pudding of it. I was really surprised when Ayo wanted this because he hates bananas. So let's hope that it's good. But like honestly, some banana stuff tastes good. So here you go. This was $8 by the way, which is like literally the exact same, almost the same amount as a burger. Um, I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything in one spoonful. Yeah, well that looks good. I'm scared. I don't like bananas too that much, honestly. I'm not a big banana girl. Cheers on the yes. thing. <laughs> Yeah, bring me like three of those. That's good. Bring me like four of those. The guy, the guy said he's so like, "Go ahead. This is gonna be life changing for you." Well, my life has changed on the spot. No, it's actually really good. <laughs> so this is uh, the final thing that we're tasting. Cheers. Ready? Smells good. It's an interesting texture. It's not that sweet. No, I don't. I feel like. How do I describe this? It literally tastes like butter. But like, the inside is soft. Really soft, like, kind of melts. Yeah. Um, and then I don't know what the top crumble is. I thought it was sugar, but it's not. Not sure. I'm not a huge fan from that one bite. Maybe I have to take more. We just finally finished eating everything, and now we are. Now what? Oh, I sorry. Sorry, we didn't highlight. Um, or we didn't really talk about the little croissant thing that we ate. Um, we're both rating it around like a four or five, just because. Honestly, the texture just wasn't that good. The taste was like really, it was whatever. Like it honestly tastes like, just like oil, like buttery oil. Um, and yeah, it's kind of catfish. Brought them straight out of the fryer, like on the front counter. You know, it made them look really nice. Mm -hmm. Kind of incentivized you to buy them. Yeah. Which we did, obviously. And when they say um, like, oh, white chocolate, like brown butter, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like you don't taste the white chocolate at all. You kind of just taste the brown butter. The little topping on top was kind of bitter too. So definitely not our thing. But the other dessert... Yeah, this is probably the best pudding I've ever had in my life. Like, he wasn't joking when he said it's life-changing. Mm -hmm. um, if you go to this place, like, 100%. There's also a tiramisu uh, pudding, uh, pudding, too. So yeah, I should give that a go. But this For is, sure. Yeah. I feel like if this was that good, the banana, the tiramisu is probably, like, divine. And this was really good. Ne neither of us like banana, but we love the pudding, which is crazy. 10 out of 10. Yeah, but overall, I feel like this is a really good spot for... You know, it did end up being more expensive... Um, but that's because we're adding on so many things. Like, if you were just to come here, get that single regular burger, $8.50, you're literally paying 10 bucks for a really good burger. Like, it was probably one of the best smash burgers I've ever had. Yep. Um, the only downside, I'd say, is that it's not really filling. Like, I'm still hungry. Um, so maybe you'd have to do a double, but the double would bring you to, like, you know, a different price range. But if you're in the area and you want a really good burger, then this is something that I'd 100% recommend, 100% would get again. The proportion was pretty good, the ingredients are good. Um, so yeah, that is a wrap for Burger Drops, and we will see you guys next time at our second price point, which is between $10 to $20, so let's go there now. All right, so it's in here, but it's just like, essentially, we have to get it on Uber Eats, I think it's like a, they're operating out of like a ghost kitchen so they don't necessarily it's not their own establishment they're just in this little drake drake fucking a fucking pub um and yeah now we're gonna get it on the beats okay so we just ordered uh sorry no, we, we didn't just order i was gonna go pick up our order right now we waited about 20 minutes which isn't bad however though we actually also got a burrito thing which is not part of this video, but we'll still show it to you. It's a place called Rico Burrito. So essentially, both of these places are ghost kitchens. They're using the kitchen at this Drake Firkin pub, and they're cooking their own food. 
and I'm really excited. It yes, they have such cute packaging. So this is, oh sorry, this is the Black Sheep Burger. It costed nineteen twenty one. The thing is, it comes with fries. And I don't think the fries cost $7, so we don't actually know how much the burger itself costs. Regardless though, very, very, very cute bags. This is a huge bag. And here is the Rico Burrito that we got too. Okay, so this is like super fucking bougie. This is the box inside. Oh my god, they even have their own little brand name. Maybe that's why it's $17. Comes with ketchup, and here's the burger. Okay, here's the packaging for the burrito. Once again, guys, they have their own custom stickers. Whoa, very spicy. Pica un chingo. Oh, the effort that they put into these things. So yeah, the cross section, we have rice, black beans, uh... What else is in here? Rice, black beans, I guess tomatoes. Or, no, that's yeah, there's pico steak, there's pico de gallo, there's Guac, avocado. Crema. This looks fucking so The burger's looking pretty good too. Is that two pat? No, it's just one patty. I'm gonna cut it in half though. Here's the burger cross section. There's onions, cheese, uh, lettuce. I think there's mushrooms, a little sauce, and the patty. So we have our little halves here. And... I think we should try the fries first okay. from things. So black sheep, you can choose salad or coleslaw or fries. But honestly, fries is always the best option. And look, like you can honestly even take apart the whole box and just use it as a little like tray. So cheers to a $17 burger. They're good. A little yeah. cold. That's kind of more or less. Mm -hmm. That's our fault though. But it's okay. Like it is what it is. They're actually good. You see them up. Yeah. They're good, yeah. Okay, ready for a burger? The way I cut it, this one doesn't have as much meat. Um, also, I don't know what sauce they have. They have like their own like special sauce. I feel like it's some mayo mayo based sauce though. Anyways, ready? A mayo. Cheers. Cheers. Ready? Let's try. Mmm. The meat is really dry and like bland. That's a very average burger to me. Like it's just a burger, you know? Yeah. Nothing crazy. Not nothing crazy at all. The sauce is okay though. I could taste the mayo in it, but damn, that is such an average burger. That's crazy. Let's just try the burrito too while we're here. You guys are getting an extra special treat because technically it's not supposed to be in this video. So this burrito looks crazy. Um, yeah, I don't see that much meat, which is kind of annoying. And I hate when they like. I get it, but all the rice is on one side. So like, once you take a bite, let's see though. It has really good reviews online. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not bad. It's, I want to try the meat like it's on pretty its crush. own. Like the rice is like... Honestly, I'm not even trying to be a hater, but I can make a better burrito at home. That's like more flavorful. It's not bad, but it's just like nothing special. I feel like the fucking Burrito Boys burritos are just as good and cheaper and or similar price, but more easily accessible. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I it's mean, like, it's, it's okay. It's not bad. Like it's average. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's eat. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to spot three. Well, actually we're not there yet, but we're about to go. We are going to Louis Louis in the St. Regis Hotel because they have, get this, a $34 burger. I don't even know if it comes with fries. Like the description does not say fries, but I'm hoping that there are fries. Also, what light setting is better? This is one, this is two, this is three. I kind of like the little glow that this one gives. Anyways, you know, I had to get done up all nice for the restaurant. Um, and yeah, let's go there now. It's downtown Toronto. We're gonna drive. Hi guys. Walking. Freezing. It's like minus 20. It's I don't know why we decided. It. Sorry? It's quite chilly in it. Quite chilly in it. I don't know why we decided to do this, but it's okay. We have to. We have to do it. We're doing it for you guys to tell you which burger is the best burger. All right. We are going to the 34th floor, the top floor. Louis Louis. See, this is how it looks. That's where oh, we're going. Yeah. Fit of the day. Oh my god, my bag keeps opening. But yeah, cool. Fit of the day. Not really, but yeah. Right, little menu. Oh gosh, yeah. This is a view. And this is our little view. I said that it's Ayo's birthday because I'm crazy. You guys will see it in another video. Yes, this is my little drink. So freaking cute. And then this is Ayo's. Uh, yeah, strong. This whole thing started. 
All right, guys. Here is the LL burger. They cut it in half for us, as you can see. I don't. I'll pick it up and I'll show you. I'll take my half. I don't want to put my flash on because the whole restaurant is gonna see. But they have like a little stand on top, sauce, and I'm not sure what else is in there. It came with fries, surprisingly. We also got this, but that's besides the point. Ready, guys? Let's try. It. Oh my god, it's so slippery. I'm gonna take the thing out. Mm. Tell us. So, the overall flavor is like the burger. I mean, yeah, that's just by the price point, but like the actual like, burger, like the meat. It's one of the mill. It's, it's good, but like it's not like it's like melting your mouth, you know? Yeah. Overall, I have to do like a eight point eight. Nine. <laughs> this guy's boosting. <laughs> Right, so now that this video has wrapped up and we have given all of our thoughts on these burgers and of course i know that these aren't the only burgers out there i know that there's probably a lot of other places that are really good but i feel like i've tried a lot of burger places in my lifetime um so i kind of like am basing it off that as well but if we're looking at this video these three burgers at their respective price points $8.50 for the cheapest one, uh, $17 for the second one, and then $34 for the third one. There is a clear winner of what is the best at its price point. And that is, drum roll please, burger drops. So after careful deliberation and just thinking it over, I haven't seen nothing wrong with burger drops. It is the best bang for your buck, $8.50 for that smash burger, which was so, so, so good. And like I said, I'm kind of picky about certain sauces. I'm picky about pickles, stuff like that. I had no problem with this. It was so good. The other two, they were okay. I think the middle one was honestly probably the worst. Um, the black sheep burger, it was just so bland. Nothing really special. The Louis Louis one, it had a, it probably had the best flavor. Um, there was a caramelized onions, this truffle sauce, but obviously like those things are going to make it taste different than just like a regular smash burger. However, at a thirty-four dollar price point, I would need that to be absolutely perfectly cooked. I don't want any dry meat. I don't want any like slipperiness. Like this burger was literally falling apart. The bun was kind of getting soggy. The meat was a bit dry. It wasn't a bad burger. It was good, but I would never pay $34 for it ever again. If I truly thought it was worth it, then sure I would, but it wasn't. The winner of this bougie or budget for this time is the budget option. And I feel like that kind of wasn't too surprising in this video, but we'll see what happens next if you guys have any specific food recommendations that you want to see that are located right in Mississauga Toronto area let me know and I'll add them to the list for a future video uh for whatever you guys want to see and yeah I'm gonna make one of these once every other month just because it's gonna get a bit pricey with everything else I have going on so I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned until then and I'll talk to you soon bye